noi che sentiamo la cupra a sedere, no? Rai stiamo le bere, poi io e poi se ti è bete quella, che ti ciò che prasci a te, che ti ciò che ne può bere, da bosch. Mi è la ciò che ne. Ti ne bosch e edla. Ka lëku pridhës dhe tu ke për povesha e në stvarë? E për kaj si ti zhivau, al kej ta atzgal, kaj e? Ke se në da sta, bo për qëlove e shku për govart, al kaj? Ti berës tëmë që së pisë për jesh, tu delësh, jesë për të lalë lojtër në morë më të përë. Ti ma e stvarë, okej. Ti ih ne znaš. Aha. Ne zna ona, ne zna lojter od prd. Z njim je delala in tako naprej, ampak od prd jih pa ne zna. Tako da tu je to. Zgleda, da so zaštekale. This appears that somebody hammered all the way down so it's now against uh, these bolts here that you see uh, like this and they will not open this these are the people that uh, she authorized to work here and do this stuff deliberately so it's not too good because they come here to make damage these are expensive letters. It's not uh, that this would be a people who come here to work. This is a Nisa's husband who destroyed this stuff. Mitya Weber destroyed this stuff. And of course I know because he stated to me when I go pick it up something, something like this, because you had to hit this part here. I always make sure it's dry and clean. And so this was the thing that was handy right there, exactly according to MK Ultra. He was the one who destroyed his letters. I should say damaged. He also stated we always come to pick up the cherries. We always do that. Yeah, they always come to clean up. Uh, but that year we will not. And so this is the year. Why? Well, during MK Ultra, not supposed to even step on the ladder with his foot. This is primarily why. Uh, I'm not supposed to bend because of the problem I have in my neck area. Because of this kind of reasons. So for mother didn't want to take time is basically to tell me that you have to hit here to move the letter and it took a great deal of time to um, meet your Weber to do this stuff uh, you can see what the fuck this is I mean they hammered this maybe with the X or something like this I don't even know but I think the first thing that I should do because I have never used these letters I probably should video record the damage on these letters because I never ever used them in my life. So I think that's like a smart thing to do first. Look, look what the fuck this is. They're all broken, I mean, destroyed. I find this bizarre because my father was so intelligent and detailed oriented together with the niece's husband look at this he was the one who destroyed his letters like everything else they destroyed he has no technical background and the niece's husband is a doctor of science in electronics 
and it seems like did not figure out how to use the ladder at first he did he he showed me here here during mk ultra here well you know you can figure out the thing about it is that uh, it took them long before they realized what's going on with the letters all these years 30 years they were coming here to pick up the cherries and it didn't come to them 25 years look at this i mean look at this look at this stuff this is like some orangutan did or something like that or you can tell that he had too much money that he didn't know what to do with my money here i'm talking about my father he had too much of everything what fucks me up is uh, if you know these letters have the kind of problem why do you go and look look at this stuff here this is hammer this stuff here why do you go and hammer them down so they stick to this uh, here to this stuff here when that's not supposed to be done why would you want to go and do this i mean this is literally hammered literally the hammer was used to push them down this damage here was demonstrated to me by Mitya Weber during MK Ultra. Never ever in my lifetime I touched these ladders. They destroyed the entire house, man. The people who came here to cut trees, I think, were the last one to use these ladders. I think they used them the last. Definitely, I think they were the last people who used this ladder. So why would you do this stuff? Why? There is so much space here in this house. You don't have to do this. And you go and you do this kind of stuff. Why would you do this? The ladders for which police director stated, these are the last ladders uh, we're going to watch. This is going to be the last thing we're going to do. We're going to watch this. And the neighbor just came home earlier that's interesting with his car and so this is another police setup if you want now how can it be a police setup when they destroyed already everything how can these people watch anybody i mean this is like you would have animals they were coming here yeah police was coming here to watch all this stuff do this stuff together with the parents even um assisted my parents at nights with the neighbors literally to water the garden even this kind of stuff went on so how would they watch this stuff when they destroyed also this stuff here this is in a, such a poor shape how the hell would they watch me when clearly here dementia prevented i mean this is these are expensive letters it is possible I have made a mistake and maybe this end here needs to go the opposite way. That's a possibility of it. Um, I'm not worried in particular because I remember my father talking to me during MK Ultra about having this kind of problem because it was a police that interrogated one about this kind of problem, why this is and so on and so forth. So. Um, Well, uh, you know, um, it was, uh, he was an animal. He was an animal because, you know, what the fuck? I mean, why would you do this stuff here? Why would you do these things? Why would you do this? That's an animal that would do. I mean, you don't, you don't really do this stuff like this. Um, Maybe a little bit weird, yes, because you would expect that would be the bottom area, but... And that, that must be the bottom area. I know so because this thing here, these hooks, they come here and they attach like that. So that is a bottom area. So my father was completely insane when he was playing with his letters.
he destroyed this too. He destroyed everything. I think he needed this type of stuff to go on so that he could cover up his own dementia. And I think it was the police that harassed him because I never harassed my father. I never would say one thing, whatever he would do with his things. I never would. The only thing I would do is I would try to help him out. But I think it was the police because it also police interrogated him because of this damage. This damage here that you see, this is already damaged that since he bought these letters. He did the damage. He did this stuff. He did this stuff. I remember this stuff because I remember the police investigator from Novo Mesto Police when he bought these letters. He bought these letters who the fuck knows when. In 2000 maybe. That's like 25 years ago I remember during MK Ultra when police investigator was interrogating him. It's you know no male would allow something like this on his property on his on at his house but you know that was my father and he didn't know how to find the answer to this uh he was all confused and police suggested one that for this kind of stuff he could be arrested and stuff like that they were a pathetic fucks if you ask me if they would come to my property like this, they would not walk from here in one piece. Actually, I would stop at the police station first. But this is basically just how they did with my father, you know, and they wanted to do with me like this too. It didn't work. I'm thinking about the psychiatrist Prokshul, a Serb, Bosnian Serb. They like to get married to the properties like this. The Serbs like to do this stuff. And police was of a greater, greatest assistance possible. That's what they like. It's not about the money. It's about other issues. This is ethnic cleansing, entire program. That's why I didn't like her. This girl needs no special introduction. Her name is Tatiana Prokshel, and she became a psychiatrist. Tatiana Prokshel was involved in this extermination procedure since her childhood. I already have uh, wasted a lot of time about her explaining issues behind her. Uh, she did hospitalize me in 2000 and. 14 at the end of the 2014 before she took off to Begonia Psychiatry Hospital and the Peter Bukovic uh, to whom I will dedicate also this video uh, is her personal friend believe it or not he worked together with Jozef Čertalic and what became his son son from Jozef Čertalic Boyan Čertalic. Jozef Čertalic was a founder of metalworking in Čertalic family, uh, opened two companies, one in Mečkovec, uh, part of the Novo Mesto region, and the second one, son, Yo uh, son Boyan opened at what is the Lenske Toplice with uh, father's money, with a share that father Jozef gave him. Uh, and the special financing provided by the local government for this region of the Novo Mesto where they needed jobs. Yeah, so he got land discounts, special financing, and that's how it went. Uh, Peter Bukovic was actually a very good friend of Tatiana Proksha. You're talking about Bosnian Serbs here, Serbs, Serbs, Serbs. What's an interesting part about this stuff is that I had Slovenian people talking to me about these things. I had Bukovic from Črtalic, Peter Bukovic, talk to me about these issues, how it's the Serbs, they, they try to come here, marry me and this and that and move here and so on. Just to get the property and this and that. But that's interesting because these people didn't care. They didn't know about anything about what went on. They didn't want to know anything about what went on. And they make like a toxic atmosphere, suggesting father, oh, you know, 
he is the one who fucked up the whole property. He is the one who destroyed the whole property. That's why I wouldn't care. That's why I wouldn't care. So they, they created father completely crazy. He had too many issues and no mental way, no, no way to handle them. My father obviously doesn't believe in lawyers, doesn't believe in court, doesn't believe in legal procedures, doesn't believe in that kind of stuff. He just, in his little head, he is in his own world with the imaginary friends, with the people that surround you, neighbors, people that stalked here literally from the city to make a new landscape of illusion they started to build. Based on what I see here, further as I observed, I don't know how I would open this ladder, but it's one thing I can guarantee you. I'm not gonna force myself down this ladder as police present and knew this young guy insisted that this would be the last thing that that we would still want to see. Uh, so they, what they wanted to do is they wanted basically to video record this stuff, how I do it. My mother was making herself loud today, invited people to come to pick up the cherries. It's all on the telephone, it's all audio recorded. Um, I noticed that even this thing, even this bolt was replaced. This is a new bolt. This is not a new bolt. Look at that. Uh, sorry, this is a new bolt, brand new bolt. You see? So that means they destroyed this. They break this down, this metal letter even. And now they want to observe me. Now they want to see how I do it. Well, I don't do it like this. I don't do it like this. And it's kind of funny. It's actually really funny to me to watch this stuff. If I will not know how to open this letter, the only thing I will do is, I probably will go to the internet and that will do it. And if that's not gonna do it, I'm gonna stop at the local store so they can point me out how to do this for free. Uh, stuff like this, I just would not go and do it. That uh, I'm not smart enough for this kind of stuff. They got a wrong person. Know how this stuff is, I will explain to you something. Um, this is a trick. They hammered this all the way down so that it would stick to the metal here. Uh, they just did this violently so. Uh, but this is the way it is, you know. You see this thing here, this, this stuff here that uh, slides. This, this is designed, this bolt here, this is designed to slide. So on that side, you would lift this up. And once you would lift this thing up, it would, it would just slide further out like this. It would just like further out like this. But what they did was they somehow hammered this all the way down, you know, so that um, because now yeah, here you cannot lift like this because it's this thing here that prevents it, you know, from once you go up on the tree so that it doesn't detach itself, the, the upper portion. I would prefer to have one more piece like the one you have seen over there instead. But basically, this is the way this stuff is done, you know, for the safety. Uh, so what they did was they hammered this so much that um, I couldn't pull any fucking place anywhere, anyhow. And I really didn't know how to use this letter. This is the first time I am using it. I remember the neighbors even when they, they talked to me about, they said, well, um, be careful what you're going to use to do this. And they suggested me during MK Ultra, you already have a sharp object. You already have a sharp object. And I really did use this thing here, this one here, to hit this part of the letter here, you know. To hit this part of the letter here. So this shit is so dangerous that I better even video record this thing here. So somebody's not gonna say, well, you know, 
but he had this or he had that or whatever you see so we're gonna go and we're gonna video record this stuff so that somebody's not gonna say well you did this and you did that so this is this had a particular uh, idea behind all this the police wanted to fuck me with the neighbors basically video record the stuff that I have done something that I had nothing to do with it this is how this stuff was done this is going straight to the internet too no I was not the one I didn't need any of this stuff this side however I did used and it can be also seen here uh, what's also interesting is I noticed here that is something but I wasn't the one who used any of it and you can see that this could not be the type of damage that you have seen on the letter so this is a total 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 police setup they knew that I would go and use something like this to hit the back see this is the stuff I hit here repeatedly like uh, like this you know actually no I am here I am mistaken sorry I was trying to fix this like this 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 is what I did I tried to hit with this thing here so that I could fix this yes that's this kind of stuff and I was using deliberately I was using uh, this type of material wood so that I would not damage uh, a plastic because this is a plastic thing here it's a plastic if you hit plastic with a <clears throat> with a sharp object I mean with the metal at all you will destroy one you destroy one uh, wood is soft is soft this is why and you can also see on this side of the letter the damage the father did also with the plastic because he hammered the plastic too I think he wasn't sure which way it goes so this is what this is so this is this is very very important shit this is very very important this is from my mother she this stuff here <laughs> and uh, that's all there is to it well, this was very dangerous actually right now I realize what kind of shit this was about my mama didn't know anything about when I called her I'm glad I have video recorded her I am glad I have video recorded her that that's basically how they worked all together with the police this is what this is and then you have cherries then you have cherries this shit my niece was involved too they were also involved in this stuff so let's see if I can get this baby going before I start hitting one before I start hitting one before I start hitting one uh, down I am gonna start with this here this area here so I want to really video record what kind of damage was done here already. Yeah. Oh, I am going to go here somewhere to put this down. No. This kind of stuff. No, 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 no. This is so problematic that I feel I shouldn't even touch anymore. Oh, this is, this is, this is, I don't know what the fuck this was used. Like an axe or something. Eh? So yeah because why because i pushed one out too much you know because i tried to push this away from this uh from this screw here that you see inside so what i'm going to do is i'm going to push this inside so it will the problem was something else you see the problem that i assumed was very different from what i assumed the problem was that a lot of people assumed the same thing uh, except that you know you can see what this looks like uh, the problem was that this thing here needs to be pushed inside not out you know uh, it's the problem that everybody made no nobody made you don't you don't do this kind of stuff if I had this letter in my hands this letter would be as good as new it wouldn't look like this 
it's not everybody's not the same everybody's not the same this animal did not even allow me to go and do the stuff on the field and stuff like this with the fresa we call that fresa multicultivator i don't know how you say that man i'm so angry i don't want to talk about this stuff and, and look at this <laughs> The way I do this stuff, because of what I already suggested earlier, the wood is much more kind, it's more soft, it's much kinder to wherever that you use to push if you don't want to make a hard impact on it. That's basically how I do it. So I use this tool here, whatever this is in English, and I put this across and then I'm going to use something to, to make impact to push this inside, you know. That's how I do it. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna record this stuff here. Uh, really, really dangerous stuff. Really dangerous stuff because I did not thought about. I did not assume that something like this could be actually possible. That it was this kind of setup they did. This is the people that were coming inside of this house are up to no fucking good. This really was a garbage. And that's how you know you're dealing with the shit. As far as the neighbors, he'll go and fucking record the same thing like the other neighbor over there. And then they're going to say, oh, well, but, you know, police is going to say, oh, he did this and he did that. This is how they want it. This is why the crime never stopped. It's the same shit like with what I stated was the case with the houses on the other side of the river you know um it was a peterle that wanted to have lois a peterle and katsin it's called katsin also another guy that they wanted to the credit uh for doing the work which police really was doing and you know instead of to resolve this shit this shit went on since 91, since the country became independent. It's the same thing with the neighbors. The same shit applies to everybody, the same shit. This is why this stuff never ever stopped. Now I'm age 52 and all fucked up because of these people. So they can prove that they were doing something useful. That police is bad, but they were doing something useful. In fact, there is somebody in the country that is not bad. This is the way it works. This is how people get killed, real people. Oh, look at that. I found this babe. And so I'm gonna go like this. Let's, let's do it like this. Let's just this, this, this here. Like this. And let me see if I record myself. I am. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll just do it like this. we're gonna go like this so it's gonna be on two parallel like this like this like that like this and it's still not good This. 
they're loud they're loud so any kind of noise you make it's like boom 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 this is pretty much the same thing that happened over there in front of the house a few days ago a few weeks ago oh that would be it i think Before I do any of it, what I'm going to do is, uh, what the fuck is this here, eh? some uh, shit poison, what the fuck, eh? <laughs> oh, this is fucking poison, shit, the telephone is all fucked up now from this stuff. Okay, never mind. And this is basically now the way probably I assume it should be. This is what I assume it should be, the work done. So that, that when you pull this out, the letter like this, it comes out. It comes out like this. On this side, it comes out like this. And you would push, you would push the letter this way. Uh, it would most likely slide through this thing here that you see through this through this stuff right there now I have to go and wash the telephone but let's see first if it's gonna work or not This is not exactly the kindest thing, this thing here. I don't know if it's still recording this or not. The battery is going to go dead and what I'm going to do is, before it's going to go dead, I will go charge. I would not dare to touch the fucking shit here without being fucking re video recording myself. Because of the obvious reasons. Safety first and safety in this case means to video record yourself whatever the fuck you do. I almost made a mistake. Mother almost succeeded. Uh, Igor Jurcic, a new director of the Novo Mesto police station, does not need a special presentation, does not need a special, uh, for me to give him a special presentation about who this guy is, right? I mean, this is the man who uh, would meet me in the Belgrade and engaged in beatings, literally even in Belgrade. After 2010, he met with the Chetniks 2000, in 2011. Again, on a picture, the one who did the interview literally boasted with him, with me, about the one who composed the interview that Serbian Chetniks, now you're talking about Mr. Dodik from Bosnia and Herzegovina, you're talking about Vucic from Belgrade. Uh, they would literally meet with him here in the city of the Novo Mesto, Edo Tocic, the one who did the, who composed the interview, literally the job interview for this guy, for this boy here that you see who became a director at Novo Mesto Police Station, was a Serbian psychiatrist, Tatjana Prokšer, whom uh, Serbian Chetniks from Belgrade 
trusted with her life. She was the one who presented this guy with the questions and these questions were given by the Serbs who came to Slovenia from Republic Srpska and from the Serbia. He had to sit with them and answer the questions literally for him to become a Nova Mesta police director. Uh, this guy does not need a special presentation. I did spoke to him. I was compelled to meet him afterwards in Belgrade, where he directly would engage also in a physical torture. He was involved in abductions, hijackings to Belgrade, he alone, and would also meet me at Belgrade, where he would go to visit his new founded uh, friends. I suppose his name is Igor Jurcic. There is no need to there is no need to give him a special presentation. This will do it. This is an individual right here, yeah? So I think the way I identify this guy I should be legible for some Nobel Prize or something, just for this guy. I don't care about it. We have a man here. It says the leftists, they call themselves the leftists. <clears throat> And they advocate at large the rights of the uh, immigrants to Slovenia. So if you're an immigrant, if you're from another part of the world, um, Slovenia welcomes you. Slovenia would like to have immigrants, as many immigrants as possible. <clears throat> I'm going to advocate this issue uh, because if Slovenia can afford to have a people like this, then as well as mine, I will do it. I will advocate the rights of the immigrants in Slovenia. I will do this. His name is Luka Mesec. And this here, uh, I will turn around. She was involved in torture and bestiality. Her name is Natasha Sukic. Natasha Sukic, uh, she is... against the NATO. She would like to have Slovenia without the NATO. She wants to get Slovenia out of the NATO. She doesn't want to be in the NATO. Uh, this Serb is, this is a Serb, yes? Uh, is highly, highly disturbed with the NATO. Has a problem with the NATO because another one who has a tremendous problem still with the NATO is a Dodik from Republika Srpska uh, in Bosnia who would like with the uh, Vucic that's a Serbian president with the Chetniks from the Serbia they would like to get another war going on so but it says here that she is for the solidarity she is for the social justice uh, she is for the green future she is for the equality, for the peace. Uh, she will fight for the higher minimum salary and retirements. So she targets the majority of the population. And so that nobody will be hungry because of the costs. Yes, she wants to make sure that people are not hungry in Slovenia. <laughs> How nice. Uh, and the globe is big enough for everybody if we spend accordingly with our needs. But, and she is for the peaceful Europe. She wants the NATO, however, out of existence. She doesn't want NATO inside of the Europe. Yes, she's for the peaceful Europe without the NATO. Um, 
And uh, these are the like-minded people here that we have. They call themselves leftists. This is not that something would have to do with the war in Ukraine, in which they campaign against Ukraine. They would like to get Ukrainian people killed. Uh, this is just something that they are. They call themselves leftists, uh, and you can see the Slovenian faces all over this place. And this here, this is the main man here. Uh, this is the man that doesn't want to have anything to do with the United States of America. This is the man who demands the European Union, Europe, without the United States of America. United States of America is a problem. This is a major problem. And NATO is a major problem. And instead of the weapons, we need train. Obviously, a train to nowhere. Uh, you would think that this is uh, nonsense. However, this is a minister, this man. This is a minister that is particular, have a particular influence in my case. Because uh, this uh, Mr. Luca Mesic is a minister for the family, for the justice, here, for the social matters. For your social standings, he wants to know how much you get support, how you live, your quality, how the matters are in your family. He wants to make sure that your family is doing okay. He wants to make sure that the employment, your employment is okay. You would think this is a joke. This is not a joke. This is ethnic cleansing. It's real. Um, Peter Bukovic is his name. Peter Bukovic is, uh, I'm going to go downstairs to finish the video. Uh, so don't forget to vote. Eh? <laughs> uh, the elections 2024, they call themselves leftists. Uh, they say they need you. They need you. They say don't go, don't, don't forget to vote. Uh, it's called the safety, Varnost, yes, Varnost. Uh, and well-being and peace. Uh, für die, für die uh, uh, Freiheit, für die, uh, this is almost like from the Nazi manifesto that Putin created for Slovenia. It's almost for the, it is almost from the Adolf Hitler is manifesto, except that this manifesto is very different. In Slovenia, we don't almost have any kind of refugees. We don't have any kind of refugees because refugees don't want to stay here. They don't want to get with the stick. Uh, refugees don't stay here. They continue to Germany. They continue to other countries where they get benefits. They get better pay. And uh, they don't want to stay without nothing for the rest of their life. That's one thing. And the second, and this is what they refer to as a Varnos. Uh, securitat. Um, security. It, it, it's, a, it's a blessing and a peace. Um, and the NATO, the NATO is the problem and America are the big problem. So, please, go and vote. Just please go and vote. And uh, Yeah, he's a minister for the family and for the social matters. I'm going to put below, I'm going to put his uh, profile about how that looks like. And where this whole thing is taken to. Uh, let me see this here. The mostly Slo faces of the Slovenian people. Um... Listen, if you are anywhere from the world, let me tell you that 
in Slovenia, they earned a lot of money. The people earned a lot of money. They have a lot of money here. Uh, they live better here than in Germany and in Britain or anywhere else in the Western Europe. I'm not kidding with you. They have a salaries. They buy themselves new cars. Uh, they throw money away like there is no tomorrow. And uh, if you want to have a good life, just immigrate to Slovenia and, um, you know, then follow up with the human rights people uh, to ensure that these people like this give you what you deserve. Because they invite you here. So I think it's nice that we accommodate people from all over the world here too, you know. Um, I would like to have personally a lot of people from all over the world here, uh, different kind of people, all kinds of people, and um, on top of it, it would um, it would erase this year. He doesn't really want you to come here. He wants here to be Putin. Serbia is what he wants here. He hates European Union. He hates NATO. Uh, he just is using the immigrant politic in a parenthesis called one as safety to get his Serbian agenda going. But I do. I would like to see people from all over the place uh, so they get to see these people, so they get to know these people, so wherever you are coming from, so you get to know what means to be a leftist in Slovenia, so that you get to know what exactly this means to be. I didn't say Serbs, I didn't say Serbs, because they populate the country with the Serbs. This guy imports Serbs, I said people from around the world, not Serbs. Bukovic is, uh, is used to work for the Chertalic, for the Jozef Chertalic. Uh, wife is a Serb, everybody is a Serb in that family. Uh, and this is the company that will pay me like for 60, 80 hours of work per week in metal working. 100 US American dollars per month and this is also the family which Slovenian local here state office for employment demanded from me to go and uh, marry the daughter from from one etc etc because they wanted to make a Serbia here this is something that I never had in plan to marry myself to Serbia, really. Integrate myself into a greater ethnic cleansing agenda. It was just not in part of me, it was not in my program. I didn't have this uh, personally, this type of uh, goals in my mindset. Uh, this is on the surface. This was under MK Ultra. Under MK Ultra, this Chertalic woman flirted with me enormously but on the surface they wanted to get me killed they wanted to put me into the psychiatric hospital so this Bukovic who stated that it's the Serbs that want to take over this property that's how he referred himself to Tatiana Prokšel who sent him to do this stuff. She was the one with the Serbs. She had a family here already. They came here already, inspected everything. Dobro, dobro, good, property good. Let's go. She was the one who engaged him to teach me how the Serbs are gonna take over this property during MK Ultra. In reality, this guy, blonde guy with blonde daughters. In Slovenian language, we say Drekulizets. Drekar. 
he was the one who is a great friend with her. And I'm going to have police confirm what I stated. When I have a police confirm that individual is a very good personal friend with a psychiatrist, Tatiana Prokshir, with a Serbian psychiatrist who put me into a psychiatric hospital also. Second time. It's this kind of stuff that makes me think about for the second time when it comes to these houses where Katsin, Loisa Petrle pose together with the police on the other side of the Kirka River. Surveillance in our house for my sake. That's why after 2000, father installed those, uh, you know, roulette, I don't know how you say that, um, shutters. I don't believe in this stuff because I know what these people here in Slovenia are made out of. They are made out of pure shit, lies. The truth is that individual whom they have also raped, not too far from here. And another one here in the village, they started to rape people that they have to marry Serbs. They're doing okay. They live fine. And also the truth is that the Serbs state that they are not going to touch this property. It seems like it didn't come along for them no matter what, even they threw me inside of the psychiatric hospital. Once they threw me inside of the psychiatric hospital, they said, they're not going to touch this property, but they're going to use one to demonstrate to other people in region how it is when you don't intermarry with the Serbs. Drekari Slovenski, Drekonje, Drekonosi, Drekači, Drekolisci, Svinje Slovenske. This is what Slovenia is made out of. With a new director from Novo Mesto police station, literally meeting me in Belgrade to engage in a physical violence against me in Belgrade. Beginning the 2010, beginning the 2011, after they had the meeting at the Torchets, where I was hijacked, that's hijacking by the Slovenian police, to meet Slovenian politicians there, be abused in front of the Serbs, with the Serbs together. It doesn't work like this here. Maybe this is a different country within the country. To end the job, I have decided to one more time video record so there's not going to be some misunderstandings. Everything is also audio recorded. Everything is also audio recorded. <laughs> In fact, I'm going to put this here like this. Everything I was doing is also audio recorded. These are not my statements. These are facts that apply today here. So some Drekolizets from Novo Mesto police station, some that I don't express myself in some other way, is not going to think that something here stated on my website or done or whatever, it can be proven different or something. Only in your dreams. I have decided we'll return this to where it was. Something that mother initiated started today. It seems to me odd because as much as I tried to and you see it doesn't go any further down here and it doesn't go any further down there. As much as I tried to correct this I still cannot push this anywhere, and I am not the type of person that will go and do this violently. Um, niece's husband insisted that these letters 
are in a bad shape. I completely agree, they are in a bad shape. And another thing is, I don't really know how to use it. If they are in bad shape, you also have to know how to use it. And the thing is, they are not only in bad shape. Already when you look at this side here, and you look at that one right there, it's not the same thing. That, that stuff right there is deliberately bent, you see it? That stuff is bent right there. So, they also bent that type of stuff. You see it? Look at it. So, and that stuff will disallow and so on. Today, for me, it's too late. I got other stuff to do. Tomorrow I will be back and we'll continue to play with this. But right now I'm going to put this video online because this is just as important as anything else. This is the first time I touch these ladders. Something that police believe is going to cash on. And I decided instead I'll be the one who's going to cash on this one too. Pretty crazy, but this is just the way it is. It's everything like this. Where the father's car is parked, they were smashing in the wall. Police alone did. When police alone, they were parking the cars. It wasn't only father. Believe it or not, it was the police. They also smashed cars inside. It's already everything video recorded. That's the way it goes. That's the way it is. Made sure that uh, this ladder would not be here placed against the wall, but instead demands to be placed over there on these hooks here that uh, as a result easily can have a very serious fall. Uh, this thing, yeah, it surely can also scratch the car and so on, but not as much as if you make a mistake when taking this thing off it will really really do damage in the car so this is the stuff that was already used even to cause problems i have already video recorded them on several occasions playing inside of the garage literally with the mentioned issue they could potentially result with leather falling in the car. They did improperly set the leather up there and all kinds of issues like this went on. How do you know that uh, the so-called leftist, the so-called communist is uh, just uh, full of shit? This is how they present themselves. They claim that they are leftists. How do you, so how do you know, how do you know this, this is full of, this Luca message that he is just talking shit. It's not difficult. Because he is a minister for the family. He doesn't give a three fuck about immigrants. He doesn't give a three fuck about the people from other countries. This is an ethnic cleanser. This is a Chetnik. This is a regular Chetnik. These are the people who today kill throughout the Bosnia, Bosnian people in the same way as they do to me here in Slovenia. They murder Croatian people and they murder Bosnian people using this exact recipe. That's why I know so much about this stuff, because I test on my own skin. <clears throat> so how do you know? that a shit like this is a Chetnik. And I'm talking to you, Luka Mesets. Because he's a minister for the family. Because he is a minister for the social justice. He is a minister for the equality, for employment, for social matters. This is the type of minister we have. And when a minister is talking about for the benefit of immigrants, while throwing people like myself into psychiatric hospitals. And I didn't get the income from Slovenia since I was in a psychiatric hospital. I got maybe, I don't know, 1,500, maybe 2,000 euros altogether in Slovenia. 
where I am since 2010 that was the only income I ever got I didn't have any kind of other social support or whatsoever this individual is a criminal this is a serial killer this is a Mladic junior this is a Slobodan Milosevic is his name that's how you know that the communist the leftist has nothing to do with the communism or with the leftism or the social justice or whatever but is out there to kill people to ethnically cleanse Bukovic Peter is gonna get soon from the police is gonna report to me where I stated about Tatiana Prokshel as far as their personal friendship is true or is not this was one of the most involved criminals in MK Ultra that's how you know it's not my business to treat garbage to treat criminals chetniks with respect of any kind the main man at the Certa, Certalic uh, metal working Certalic metal working was I am being sarcastic about it because I have all the reasons to be sarcastic about you're about to hear in the next video uh, was Peter Bukovic this was the main guy the number one man whom Jozef Certalic in charge to be a head for the physically related work workers basically whatever went on for all the operations inside of the workshop uh, metal working workshop it was Peter Bukovic I cannot find his picture anywhere in the internet who was in charge for all the operations dealing with uh, basically driving workers crazy enough to outperform people in government companies I should say because it was everything was government it was a socialist Republic of Yugoslavia you know uh, but because of his involvement in this case right because of his because of the Jozef Chertalic's involvement in this case you know there were also people in Yugoslavia who had the right to open their private companies so they ran private companies now I am not going to say that this is exactly what opened him uh, a private company because I am not sure when his private company was opened since how long he has this company uh, this man was involved since my early childhood he was a family friend who would come in the house since I was a baby so it's impossible for me to determine because his face was same almost as if I would see my father this was like father had certain people that he would associate with and this was one of the people this is a founder of the Chetlic metal working business he is a Slovenian he is from the Shentierne however his wife is a Serbian uh, and his kids are half Serbian the man whom he in charge for all the work inside of his workshop uh, metal working workshop was uh, all the business everything he built he built through this case absolutely everything in the socialist republic of yugoslavia you don't do private business you cannot do private business in the so-called communist country back then nothing in the soviet union and nobody was allowed to run private business you understand but if you were involved in my business in mk ultra business and you got to know josip bros tito personally then the doors open for you and it did not open for you only for you to have ability to run private business but it opened literally the door for you to even rob workers to steal the wages from the people from the workers rip them off get people to work for you for free through the black market employ people young people uh, all kinds of people deliver people adult people also for the extra income to do half for free for you so that you outperform government companies socialist companies and you make yourself more and more recognizable basically through the theft through the connections 
The money became unlimited. This guy did not drive other than Mercedes back in the day. It was only Mercedes, those kind of cars, uh, and then what became also Volvo, etc., etc., etc. Yeah, I created this individual here that you have seen. I made this man greatly. This here is the name. His name is a Peter Bukovets. This guy was the guy who was a dog inside of the workshop. He became a dog inside of the workshop for the guy that I demonstrated you. He drove workers crazy to outwork, outperform workers in the government companies and all kinds of stuff went on. Uh, he kept the whole operation inside of the workshop running like a Swiss watch. This is a Slovenian guy and what became evident also was an excellent friend of Tatiana Prokšer. Tatiana Prokšer is a half Serbian from Serbian part of Bosnia. Serbs wanted this property here, this house here, not only this one, but entire Slovenia. They wanted to intermarry, they wanted to marry into, uh, and this was just... This girl here that you see, this was just a post symptom of my conflict, which I had with a psychiatrist. This is a psychiatrist, Tatiana Prokšer, I have spoken about already. Uh, this girl was just a post symptom of a problem I had with this individual here and his son, this one here foremost. This, was the, this is the guy who wanted me dead at all costs. And, and his son is a boy on Čertalić. This is his son, yes. This one already died. Jozef already died. The founder of the Čertalić Metal Working already passed away. He died. And so, because this individual went as far as labeling me as mentally ill, yeah, he labeled me as mentally ill. He guaranteed me that I'm a dead man, that I'm a dead walking man unless I marry his daughter. They demanded for me in Slovenia to get married with the Serbs. Demanded. Either you're going to get married with the Serbs or you will be killed. And then sometimes when I was my age, like the 14th grade and up, they already labeled me as simply as dead 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 and the only chance he was the only chance is what also he claimed that he was the only chance because of due to amount of crime serbs exercise against me serbs had a really really dirty secret i should say russians had a really 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 filthier than filthy the filthiest in this world secret and they wanted to keep the secret within the family the family however is extermination procedure it's a genocide once you intermarry like this you disappear in the family like you never fucking existed that's how the serbs actually that's how the slovenian chetniks like milan kuchan borut pahor that's how they do it here in slovenia His unsuccessful attempts to compel me through the local uh, employment office by keeping me unemployed, forcefully unemployed. First it was a beating, it was a torture in the school. Then it became the forced one employment. Came really, really, really short after I started to, because he was acknowledging me as mentally ill, as a walking dead man. They became really, really, really short after Yugoslavia had fallen apart. After the war broke out in the Balkans in 91, the shit, Serbian shit hit the fan. He lost control over his extermination procedure, over the genocide together with the Novo Mesto police, with the uh, employment office here in the city, the Novo Mesto, had no control. And then even worse that happened to him is he totally lost the respect from me. And now the table turned around 
And during MK Ultra, when they had an MK Ultra, it's when I started to psychologically abuse them. Asking them questions, what are they doing in Slovenia? Why are they here? They hate one so much. Why don't they go just back to the Serbia and allow people to leave? I touched the subject about who is mentally ill, making him feel that he is inside of the Europe, that this is an independent country, that he's in the wrong country to continue extermination here in this little country. It was a war. It was a total war that broke out. This time, literally, my hitting him with everything I had, making him feel like at home, like really, really at home as the case it should be. But this was not the case because he still had police behind him with the Milan Kuchan, with Borat Pahor, the Noshek, uh, with all the murderers that killed in Masse during Yugoslavia. They killed, these people killed in masses. They incarcerated, they killed people, they thrown people inside of the psychiatric hospitals uh, in masses, not in one or two or three or ten people, but in masses these people murdered, using the police. Police was the one who was doing this kind of stuff and still does this kind of stuff. Uh, he lost control. Uh, his last dictating to me, I refer to him as a Milosevic. I refer to them, all of them, as a Milosevic family. And uh, contrary to his wealth, to everything that he displayed to me, that he was shagging around, he was uh, showing himself, uh, his uh, money, his things, I didn't want to have nothing to do with it. I, I explained in the next video how toxic this relationship between his son, what became his son, Boyan, who inherited his money, uh, not only his father, became with me. Uh, they started to demand for me to marry the youngest daughter of Jozef Chertalich, the founder, therefore, of this Chertalich Metal Working, uh, who his son then changed name into, I don't know, Blast Technique and, uh, I don't know, Ferro, Ferro Chertalich, Chertalich, Ferro, whatever. Uh, I explained this in, in continuation in completely another video. Um, they just um, demanded for me to marry her. They became totally desperate. As Slovenia became independent, these people started to fear. It was a fa pa panic frantic situation for them they experienced, did not know what the fuck to do with it. But Slovenian police, Milan Kuchan, resolved that really uh, so, so easily with Loise Petrle, with Janez Janša, with the Jelko Kacin, uh, with the so-called Slovenian founders, such as I Igor Baucher and all these people that were involved in it, doing absolutely nothing about it, actually going out there and assisting them best to their abilities, acknowledging me, in fact, as mentally insane. This here is the girl that you see that they demanded for me to marry. This is his daughter, his daughter Moitza Chertalic. And more about this issue, uh, I will explain to you in the next video. Something maybe I did not point it out in that video is that uh, she was, she stated to me like this. She wanted to know what exactly is that I don't like about her. Uh, I was subjected to the torture. Uh, and because of the torture that went on, and I wanted to be left alone rather than tortured, I wanted to make sure that these people go away from me. Uh, I pointed her out some physical issues that really were not critical, whatever. Uh, she stated to me, she was, she's not blonde. She, this is not a natural blonde or blonde lady or something like that. She stated to me that she would do exactly as the Western women. They're a blonde, uh, painted her hair, dressed herself exactly like this. Uh, and But what she will do is she will make sure that I'm dead that she will bury me alive, that she will, in fact, get me killed no matter what. And that's precisely what it turned out to be. 
uh, as Americans, Britons became engaged in this, they exercised all the support they possibly could for these Serbs here in Slovenia and of course in Serbia. Uh, Croatia, Bosnia lost half, uh, lost half of the territory and it oh, could have been worse. It could have been much, much worse if I would not proceed and literally start to physically resist to Prince Andrew to Prince Charles. I mean, it was the first time that during, before this Oluya took place, this Operation Storm in Croatia, that I got into straight physical confrontation with this British scum that literally supported Serbia to take over entire Yugoslavia. Uh, making sure that all the governments, Germans, French, Italians, everybody, they would notice my analogy this people is totally obnoxious, inappropriate, as somebody who have absolutely nothing to do, might be hijacked, subjected to the torture, and through the torture for them to extort demands. And so there was a fight between mentioned NATO member states that broke out on occasion, and British had to give up to Operation, what became known as Operation Storm. Like it, did not, uh, forced by other people because of so much territory they already have given to the Serbs, literally who exercised genocide in the Balkans, they were forced to withdraw from my case enough for the Croats to at least gain some kind of sympathy, some kind of support to go on with liberation of the Croatia. These people, these Chetniks here from the Novo Mesto, this Chertalic family, have proven to be the most lethal, the most dangerous, the, the deadliest family in the region, in the Slovenian, with a family with the biggest impact, extremely wealthy people, uh, who have well associated themselves with the Western elites, blend themselves with the Western elites, uh, went on to uh, camouflage a real character, the reality about who they were, uh, and you know something that also I did not mention because I'm gonna demonstrate you in the next video her profile here. It's bizarre. I found this stuff bizarre. Uh, you're gonna see pictures with her back and forth. You're gonna see pictures everywhere, um, and. Um, but you're not going to see, almost nowhere, you're going to see her husband. You're not going to see one picture, few pictures at the beginning, you're going to see something with a husband. But even here at the top of it, she's posing with the Moitza Chertelich. She says, the Moitza Chertelich and Moitza Chertelich. It's like a single girl, I mean, like totally single girl. You know? It's totally, totally single girl. For the politicians, if they would not have ability, they would not have daughters um, I tell you something about the politicians and also about this kind of business people what they learned they even once they get divorced she got divorced from the husband and this is her son here you see here this is a son uh, it's a grown up this is an adult grown up, um, she will not even bother to keep the original name or something like this after she got divorced and is posing throughout the profile with exception of a few photos that you're going to see and you're not going to even get, you know, you're not going to even get idea, you're not going to even figure out based on these photos here who the husband is or whatever, you know? You're not going to find out who the fuck the, the husband is. You're not going to find out who's the, who the husband is, literally. Uh, because it's it's done in a such a way, uh, basically, that you could... Ex-husband, I should say. You know, ex-husband. It's done in a such a way that whoever would browse this stuff would get an idea this girl is single. Like, she's never married. Um... The child that you see here that she posed with um, is a boy that appears here and there. 
uh, till he is grown up, but she lists him under a different name. She doesn't put the name next to him, Chertalich or something, but she's using the name of her ex-husband. Um, actually, I'm going to put it this way. So fucking intelligent, so smartly done, uh, so Vladimir Putin, so KGB, so Udba stuff done, that really, really, really uh, A1A job, I'm going to say to you, so professional, know exactly what he's doing so chameleon that you do have to i do have you have to re respect one uh violent ultra violent until this picture appeared here uh this picture appeared in 2021 but it's this occasion she always would return throughout the serbia these people do have companies also in serbia it's where they have the families Maybe the companies are not on their name, but they make sure that they are companies and there is a whole lot of money they sipped into the Serbia from Slovenia. Also thinking about literally immigrating to Serbia. Uh, the picture that you see here with the Djokovic, uh, this started to appear sometimes in 2010 uh, during MK Ultra. Excuse me, this started to appear sometimes like in 2008 with the Djokovic. Um, beginning the 2008, 2010, beginning the 2010, like two years after Djokovic appeared with her, uh, she started to pose like a normal person. All the hatred, all the issues that were, uh, all of a sudden this becomes like a normal person with occasional uh, breakdowns, violence, rage. You're going to watch in the next video. Uh, but totally, totally camouflaged from what used to be the past because this girl was just as violent as her brother. This girl wanted me dead, just as she stated. She will bury me. This guy, however, always was violent. This was the most violent individual. His name is Boyan Chertalic. This guy never ceased to violence against me, never passed him. He was obsessed with the violence. Actually, not with the violence, but he became obsessed with the idea to get me killed, destroyed. Once the case became so strong that he realized that... Uh, he will not be capable to do any of it. And if he will push, in fact, further, as I explained in the next video, that he will have all sorts of problems that will result not only for him, but for the company also. Uh, he started to change. He became what is known as a mystery in between. His sister was like, started to act like my friend, especially in the home surroundings here. This is the disease that plugged me through the local Zavod za Zaposlovanje, State Employment Office. This is the disease. And this girl was the one who blended herself in this disease. This is a psychiatrist, just as I stated, half Serb, Tatiana Prokshul, who blended herself in this disease. Serbs, Russians feared deeply that these videos are ever going to come to the surface. This is nothing to look forward to know exactly what they have done and how they do it. And so they use the people who caused all the harm, people who are behind all this original crime, they started to use them like some sort of relief valve and started to portray them as somebody who is the first one who rushed to the rescue by employing entire... Um, gospodarska zbornica, the regija podjetnika u novo mesto, entire regional, uh, not only regional here in novo mesto of private company owners, but throughout Slovenia to engage in a violence against me, so that they would convince me that it's actually in my best interest to work with the Chertalic company. The violence was so insane that beginning the 2010 
I no longer would understand who these Chertelich people are. Uh, state of the chaos, chaotic state. Uh, stress was so high, so severe, that I no longer would even recognize them in MK Ultra. That's how bad this stuff, that's how violent this stuff chaotic was. And they started to play like a sweet guy, like a nice guy. And I would eventually even feel relieved when they would deliver me half dead to their residence, to their homes, to their properties, to them. That's how Vladimir Putin does. This is how Milosevic from Serbia, as I regarded this family, did personal friends of Milosevic, personal friends of Mladic, personal friends of the Karadzic. These are the people who knew them all. These are the people who get the state welcome in the city of the Belgrade. This is no fucking joke. These are the people I grew up with. Americans acknowledge me as mentally ill because I would not marry such a great, beautiful, blonde opportunity. She's not blonde, she's painted. Her hair is painted for one thing, and it doesn't matter if she would be blonde. It really doesn't matter if she would be blonde, whatever she would be. This is about ethnic cleansing, extermination procedure that I endured since I was a child. This is about a France, about a Germany, about a Britain, greater than Great Britain. This is about a Sweden, a Norway, Finland, Netherlands, Spain, Italy, United States of America, Canada with Australia, which I embraced just to have them turn their backs to me and cooperate in most malicious way as much as possible literally with the KGB killers. Had Sancho Intelligence Agency Federal Bureau investigations hijacking me literally from Miami Beach back to Slovenia. From Miami Beach where I escaped in 95 back to Slovenia for no less than 11 and a half years till the August of 2006. Once I returned for you to the US for another year and a half throughout the Western Europe also, they were hijacking me anywhere from back to Slovenia, from Chicago, from uh, Minneapolis, from the Western part of the United States of America, such as even Bellingham, hijacking me back to Slovenia so there could be a poisoning, killing, more damage done to it, more unemployment, more stress, more destruction, more psychiatric violence. And they have done the same thing when I immigrated, when I applied for asylum in the Germany, in the Gießen. The same thing when I, when I applied, tried life in Austria. The same thing when I tried life in Sweden, whether that be from hostels in Göteborg or Karlstad. The same thing in a Norway in Bergen. The same fucking thing. The same fucking thing all over and all over, all over. From Bergen to Oslo in Norway. Uh, they went out there basically with the Russians to get me simply killed. As Russians and Serbs sadistically with a big laughter on their face refer to them as partnori. My partners they call them. And these are your partners. Yes? And these are, the, these are the costs of the oil, of the precious minerals, gas, that British sealed. That's how they sealed with the blood, with the blood ink, with the red ink, they sealed their newly founded partnership. So these are important things for you to remember how this stuff worked. And what I find the most disgusting is that the first thing that Tiana Prokshul had this guy do is suggest me that they got, the Serbs are going to steal this property here in the Novo Mesto. That's trying to make me look as ill as possible. Video recorded themselves together with the Bukovets on what Bukovets would come and suggest that he is a friend of Tatiana Prokshul. Uh, even that she got him, that she caught him and stuff like this. Even that kind of stuff went on. Mental games like this to make me feel like it's the best thing is to shut up and just do whatever they say and save yourself from being killed. Well, they destroyed 52 years of my life. And this is one case 
they really made a big mistake about it. This did not work for them. I will not file for political asylum in Russia, as Vladimir Putin insisted me that I should have. Not even for the cost of Joe Biden, who presented Vladimir Putin best to his abilities against me, and Donald Trump, and uh, all the other politicians from United States of America Congress, where British royals have campaigned best to their abilities to destroy my American citizenship, the right to employment throughout the United States of America. Uh, it was a mistake. There will be no second Belarus, which I did in 2017. It will not happen. And I'm in no hurry to run to Serbia either uh, to pretend myself dead and so on. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm not interested in kind of Serbian Chetnik, ethnic cleansing rendezvous. This is just a mistake that Milan Kuchan have made big one together with his comrade Borut Pahor, Robert, Robert Golop. And yeah, as it became very, very evident to me, uh, this lady here I have little about spoken. And it's just, she's just so meticulous about being politically correct, uh, so, 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 so against, so much against the violence, you know, when I think about recent crime she organized together with the Slovenian, Slovakian Prime Minister, the Robert Fico. They started to contemplate on hype, on how there is a race of violence and hate speech, and for which purpose they have gone ahead and even established in Slovenia a fake neo-Nazi movement to represent them. It's fucking insane. Out of nowhere, they started to claim in Slovenia it's a neo-Nazi movement that appeared. And it's difficult to prove them wrong. Janus Jansha is really, really the best at what he does. And he doesn't mind. He involves his people to give the reasoning for that kind of stuff. Just as you have seen from the videos that I posted. They activated their people uh, to give this type of politic the reason to exist. In 2013, when I was thrown into psychiatry hospital, Janus Jansha came out and started to play a political prisoner in Slovenia. Uh, got himself imprisoned, and afterwards it's Igor Bauchar that listed himself also as a prisoner uh, at the dope where they would, with police, would also deliver me. Uh, before this, it was a Thaler, Zoran Thaler, who listed himself with the British as somebody willing to collect corruption. Therefore, the people who supposedly have fought for the Slovenian independence, using Milan Kuchan, using them to present themselves to the public as like the fucking worst people. I mean, you could make... This is why Slovenia is so dangerous. Slovenia is a Kaliningrad number two. This is a Kaliningrad number two, but this is also the reason for the war in the Balkan, for the massacre of Srebrenica, of Bosnia, for the massacre in Vukovar, for the massacre that you watched, that you continue to watch also in Ukraine today. If you already don't want to see Chechnya and Tajikistan and all other countries that suffered, with the Slovenian military literally traveling to Russia and giving instruction to the Russian side, campaigning for their weapons that could be transferred to the Russia, negotiating together with the Russians inside of this house with Americans, with the Germans, with the British. Weaponry sale, mineral, gas, oil trade, etc., etc. This is, this, this, this here. This is what this is. This here. Yeah? This. And the guy who inherited uh, metal working businesses with... Um, as far as I know, Slavojka is his sister. That's a Slavojka. And his wife is Milojka. The two are kind of a look alike. They actually look similar. Uh, Slavojka is a half 
Serbian, his sister, just like a Moitza, whom I have demonstrated you. You know, just like a Moitza. Uh, and Milevojka, that's his wife, uh, whom I don't know if she's 100% Serbian or not, but this woman all look uh, kind of look alike. And they were especially handy because they were blonde and stuff like this. And it was Italians that went crazy. And, oh, I don't see anything wrong. You know, the Bunga Bunga in Rome, Berlusconi, Bunga Bunga stuff. This is the stuff that went on, Bunga Bunga. This is the Bunga Bunga. This is a Mr. Bunga. And this is even bigger. This is even bigger Mr. Bunga. Uh, Vladimir Putin literally learned to imitate this guy. He totally, totally imitated his personality when he is on a political stage uh, acting with the interviews and so on. He totally, totally imitated this guy here. Totally, completely. Uh, the way he moves his facial, uh, the way he does and stuff like this. Yeah, but this guy also is about the size like Vladimir Putin. It's just, he it was a perfect couple. This individual here, Peter Bukovic, a very good friend of a Tatiana Proksha psychiatrist who hospitalized me in 2014 and was involved since her childhood. Uh, this individual is a neighbor from Mitya Weber. Mitya Weber, this is uh, the man, M -E -T this is a demand, the turbo doctor, uh, a doctor uh, with, I don't know, two degrees, so intelligent. He is a teacher. Uh, they write about him also in the media. What they do is, uh, he is a teacher at the local high school, which I also attended here in the Novomesto. So they give him a public function uh, so that he could be seen Next to the family man, because he has a son and daughter, uh, is respectable as a person who is reliable, who, who knows how to communicate, who is uh, well-versed, well-psychologically smart, intelligent, uh, etc., etc., etc. He had to work uh, like a bitch uh, for the Slovenian police to apologize this extermination procedure. I think he could make much more money than that in some private company because he does have a background, extremely te uh, technical background. Government invested in this guy heavily. They gave him all kinds of awards. He collected the money. Uh, once he graduated, he got for the some kind of a project, a robotic project and stuff like this. Uh, he got served from left and right, including from the rear and from up front, from the Slovenian government. They made him uh, like a doctor miracle in Slovenia. Slovenia invested enormous amount of money in this husband from my niece. Yes, uh, he is uh, Peter Bukovic is a neighbor of this guy, where I never really was. I never wanted to go to visit his house. I never wanted to go to his house. I never wanted to have anything with this individual. In fact, when he got married with the niece inside of this house, and he started to shovel with me in the year 2000, in 99, that's why I know when he met her, at the parking lot, uh, right here outside of the house. He met her before. And the year was when he met her, must have been already like, I don't know, 97, something like this. But in 99, or maybe even 98, 98, 99, he started to shovel with me in the back of the house in the parking lot. And that was the stuff that was related to the Milan Kuchan who promised me would get me killed behind the house on the parking lot for telling him that this house here doesn't want to see Milan Kuchin, that he's not welcome here, that he will never going to be welcome here, and he'll keep coming back to this house. He'll have to either run from Slovenia or be eventually jailed. That's when Milan Kuchin promised me he will get me killed, and he selected that parking lot 
uh, to be uh, the location using him. Uh, that's when you have him, uh, Mitya Weber, coming on the picture, shoveling with me, drugged up on a parking lot, started uh, how he will develop the future. Confrontation with me, uh, literally on that parking lot, which Milan Kuchan selected. Um, the neighbor of Peter Bukovic, uh, Mitya Weber, was stored beginning the 2000, beginning the 99, once he started to shovel with me, having me jerked up, hijacked from United States of America. That's how the big hero did, you know. This is what makes the man uh, that he married into the wrong family. He, I told him this in 99 when I was hijacked from the U.S. here to Slovenia. And consequently, his life is going to be unhappy. I told him, I will destroy one. I'm not going to even go into details. I told him that he married to the wrong family, that he had to marry instead to Serbia or some other place. Here, this kind of stuff, therefore ethnic cleansing stuff, is not appreciated. I told him he's not welcome in this family, in this house. He will never be. And as long as I will live, I will work on destroying him. That was my promise, him and his family for doing this stuff to me. This is a Slovenian, born in Slovenia, but this guy worked for the Slobodan Milosevic. It doesn't matter. He did a lot of favor to Slobodan Milosevic, known as Milan Kuchan in Slovenia. He worked, he lived for him. He still continued to live for him, doing his job at the high school as a professor, as a teacher. And it, the rest doesn't fucking matter. Because it doesn't matter if you are a father, if you are a doctor, or whatever the fuck you are, committing ethnic cleansing, genocide against somebody is not a joke. It's just people think this is a joke. They, these people think that this is just something. It's not. It's real. And they're about to learn how real this stuff is. Another neighbor from this individual is this guy here. Another neighbor from Peter Bukovic and from Mitya Weber, yes? Are these two houses. The father's house and the son's house. Now he died. They are all neighbors with the Bukovic, with the Mitya Weber, Weber my niece, therefore, Chertalic, they're all neighbors. It's all Serbian clan over there. They started to base, like, a Fort Knox here for the Serbia that they will do their takeover. Yeah? You know? The thing is, Mitya Weber married to the wrong family, and I was born here. I am from here. They may say that they were born here, too. But the intentions prove, their intentions, their involvement in my case prove that they have just as much as relationship it doesn't matter because I don't actually I actually stuff that Slovenia did to me, I am not gonna be glorifying Slovenia because Slovenia did stuff that is in line with these people here. It's not in line with me. I don't feel like being Slovenian. I don't think anything about me is really Slovenian because of what went on. I'm not here to glorify Slobodan Milosevic or Janez Janša or Luis Petrle or Jelko Kacin is maybe weakened in uh, Croatia that he demonstrated me where he would, they would start to demonstrate me their properties, their cars, their their wealth, how well they're doing, taking me to their vacations, uh, for me to see their luxury, the way they live and so on, how their lives are productive, and my is just a pure waste of time. I'm not interested in this kind of stuff. I'm just here to do my business. Because a genocide, extermination procedure, it doesn't matter what part of the world you are, wherever the fuck you are, it's still the same. 
it doesn't take away the essence. Even if you call yourself a communist so that you could get favors from China at the United Nations, uh, or you call yourself a supporter of Israel, like Yansha does, for instance, to gain support from the United States of America, from Israel, and so on. It doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't take away essence. Genocide is just genocide. Extermination is just extermination procedure. You're going to be held responsible for it. This is one of the core issues that pertain to humanity. It doesn't take away. If you're a teacher or you're a father or whatever the fuck you are, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter what kind of university, what kind of doctorate, what do you have? Police insisted me how smart he is. This is the brain we don't destroy and stuff like this. You got no chance. You're dead. You're buried. And I don't know what. What are we going to see about this stuff? This is something yet I have to learn about how the brain can just go out there and kill. You know, because I look nothing more forward than to be ousted from the society, trashed, dashed, listed as good as dead. I always looking forward to that. You know, since I was born, that's the moment I was waiting for somebody to explain to me that issue. You know, Slovenia, Slovenia. Now it's a Slovenia, you know, Slovenia. Slovenia is very, very different from the Russia. Mamushka Russia. Yeah. Well, you guys, you guys being not too nice to me and I don't have the reason to be nice to you it's very different Slovenia Slovenia and Russia very very different you know Russia very different yeah look at the same flag <laughs> Uh, Kaliningrad, Slovenia, number two. Not close to Russia, you know, not close. But uh, American dementia already started to insist, you know, this Russia everything. So convincing that made me also, born here in Slovenia, confused about where the fuck am I coming from. Um... But I tried. I tried. There was some good-looking Serbian girls I met. There were some good-looking Russian girls that I met. But this girl just somehow prevailed. <laughs> they just somehow prevailed. You know, the extermination procedure uh, just somehow uh, prevailed. You know, he's crazy. He's crazy. He... Uh, spend life jerking off, not know what he wants in his life, crazy, you know, wasting life, not know what he wants, you know, we have many, many sweethearts, but none for him, really, because he crazy, does not know what he wants. <laughs> Slovenia is... Not like Russia, this is very, very different, you know, very different, you know. In uh, Slovenia, uh, we have very, very different things here, you know, when it's uh, Mrs. Uh, uh, Tanya Fayon, uh, a Russian spy Slovenia, a Russian spy Slovenia, uh, Russian spies, Slovenia, you know, uh, live in a palace, live like this, you know, uh, no, uh, they, they still, uh, these are just few people here, they have a lot, they don't have one only, uh, a Russian spies, if you want, uh, buy here hotels, get them for free, even castles, uh, you know how uh, the Russian buy here in Slovenia? Uh, Kirka take uh, a van like this, full of money, loaded, and they drive it to the Belgrade. And they build factory over there after factory. And the same thing to the Russia. They build factory, you know, and it's 
the special club in Russia and in the Serbia get at discounts to buy properties in Slovenia that are really actually some of them they shouldn't even be should actually only be let's say in a government possession they get keys to the exclusive rights to purchase things with Slovenian money that is washed through the Serbia and through the Russia they call it the Russian mafia here <laughs> you know uh, is very very different this procedure here is a little bit uh, bizarre I don't know I don't know what you want to do with the Russian spies uh, in uh, Slovenia but you know they live uh, in what <laughs> kind of a funny actually because you know they uh, semi-spies get even villas even those that are not real spies uh, they get villas in Slovenia they get villas in Slovenia you know uh, the real spies uh, they buy castles hotels they are not even in this kind of villas and so it's very very different uh, live here for uh, entire life collecting the free flights between Slovenia and Russia. Oh, you don't know, Slovenia, Slovenia, very different from the, from the Russia. In Russia, eh, you no need to be a spy. You no need to be a spy in Russia like this, you see? You don't actually need to be a spy in Russia. In Russia, the way they do the business, with what they need to even to portray as a spy they do it like this in slovenia they treat a spy like a kings and queens when it comes to the ruski and the serbski pa serbski pa ruski spy but in the russia uh, catching the spies looks like this it's a different procedure. It's like a two different word, you know. We're different. We're different, you know. We're different. That doesn't mean that Sperdovania, you know, Sperdovania. Uh, I, I am just going to go browse through this a little faster. Uh, that doesn't mean that Sperdovania justifies psychiatric mistreatment against me and the treatment of the spies different from what you see here as justified and so on. These are two different worlds. But the Slovenia, you know, that's a different kind of beast. That's why me not being excited about Slovenia, because me grew up in the Slovenia. I know what means Slovenia. And you can see how the justice actually, what the justice looks like when they catch terrorists or spies and so on. But we got the worst terrorists right here in Slovenia, literally with Russians that were using Slovenia as a location for departure into the European Union as a jump desk to engage literally in a terror plots. I heard from Slovenia even Putin had terrorists, Russian terrorists depart to the Europe to kill people. Even this kind of stuff went on with the Mian Kuchan.